Pro tip for you, EcoFlow River Pro is really good for the Astro. So I'm just wrapping up an Astro flight for the day. Came out and mapped out about 300 acres. Astro worked okay. I uh, had a couple of hiccups. I want to talk to you about the setup that I'm using while I'm in the field. So the Astro, if you're going to run it with complex missions, you're going to want to run a laptop with Alteria Mission Control. You're going to need to have power. So one of the things I found that works really well here recently is I'm using the EcoFlow River Pro and I've been able to charge Astro batteries. I've also been able to power the laptop and the fast charging USB port is sufficient enough that it keeps the HearLink charged and will actually supply more power than the HearLink needs. So it's one of the only chargers I found that's supplying enough juice over the USB that the HearLink powers up and still continues to charge while running the hotspot so I can run my laptop. All right, so I'm back in my home office and I wanted to add a few things because I didn't think about it in the field. So the HearLink controller, when you're running the hotspot on it so you can connect with your laptop and run a complex mission that you've planned with KML input, is going to chew up a lot of battery. I've covered that in many videos. And you can get a USB-C to micro adapter um, and use the SL8 flight battery. I've done that. The problem is that after a first few minutes, it seems like that the power consumption that the HearLink is pulling from the SL8 battery seems to drop. And initially you'll get a nice boost on your percentage on the HearLink, but then it just kind of keeps going down even though you're supplying power while you're operating it. Now using the River Pro, I have not found that to be the case. And I have tried multiple USB small portable batteries I've tried plugging it into my laptop, I've tried a number of different things, and it seems like the power consumption that the HearLink is willing to pull from all those other devices just starts out high and then just kind of creeps down. And so at the end of the day, the HearLink is still using more power than you're supplying it and ultimately dropping faster than you probably need. So this really only applies if you're running three, four, five flights in a day. Um, but I do that frequently. Our projects are pretty large. Yesterday we were flying 300 acres and I knew I needed three flights at a minimum, um, but it was possibly more because the winds were up. So yesterday I was able to take my six foot USB-C to micro cable that I bought off Amazon. I'll drop a link below um, to the Hear Link from the river and it worked just fine. It was charging my Hear Link I was not losing power while running the hotspot and my laptop was also plugged into the river, which is nice um, because that helps with thermal throttling when the weather starts getting a little hot that your fans and your laptop can pull full power and your battery is gonna hold because you're pulling AC power. I also was able to take my first flight batteries after they were done, put on the charger on the River Pro and charge them up while I was still on site just in case I needed to go into a fourth flight on the day. I didn't, but by the time I was packed up and leaving the site, my flight battery 1A and 1B were fully charged and ready to go, which is really nice. And at the end of the day, my river was down to about 32, 33% total. So I brought it there at 100%, was able to supply my laptop power, my HearLink power, charge up two flight batteries, and still have about 30% in the tank. So I could have easily kept powering the HearLink for a long time. I do have more SL8 batteries that I could have brought with me, but I knew it should have only been three batteries, really about two, two and a half, and that's what it turned out to be. So I was okay there. But the USB-C to micro cable, uh, plus something like the River Pro is a really ideal for being able to go in the field and run long operations and know that you're not gonna run out of power on your laptop and on your HearLink.